Is this the solution to all the hassles with reading cards on the new MacBook Pro? Let's find out. Dave Taylor here and I want to talk about cards. Not business cards, not playing cards, data cards. The kind of cards you get in cameras, GoPros, all that sort of stuff. Now, most of these devices have little plugs and you can hook it up to your computer, but that's generally a pretty slow way to pull the data off. Enter card readers. Now, older computers will have card readers built into them, pretty handy, but if you have something like this, the latest MacBook Pro, it not only doesn't have USB, it doesn't have anything really, it's just USB-C. So, enter the IOGear 3 slot card reader, which supports SD, micro SD, and compact flash. Now, actually, it supports eight different formats, because SD and micro SD can also be an HC, which is high capacity, or XC, which is extended capacity. So you have lots of options there. And there's also something called high speed compact flash. So this supports eight different card formats in three different card sizes. And I have actually a micro SD card already in it. And it's a really simple, slick device. You plug it into your MacBook Pro, you plug it into any computer with a USB-C, and it just starts working. So, let me not talk about it. Let's actually jump in and run some demos. Okay, our first test is going to be to take this 500 megabyte file off of a micro SD card and simply copy it onto the desktop. Let's see how long that takes. That's pretty darn fast. Now let's switch to the desktop and let's do it by size and let's copy it back onto the drive. So we're just going to do this and we'll see how long this direction takes. So now we're doing a write instead of a read and it's half of a gigabyte. And let's see, you know, obviously this is constrained by the speed of the micro SD card itself, but not too bad. You can see, um, <laughs> getting a little in window into all the other files that I have on my desktop, but that's okay. Okay, for test number two, what I have here is I have an SD card out of my Canon camera, and you can see it has a really weird file organization, but the good news is that overall, we can see that it's one gigabyte of data. So let's just copy that onto the desktop and see how long it takes to pull a gig of data off of a big SD card. Now this is actually an SDHC, so it means that it's high capacity, and it's a 16 gig card. So we're pulling off 1 16th of all the data on this card, and it's at a fairly complicated organization, but that's okay. You know, who cares how things are organized in terms of folders and files? We're just looking at the overall data transfer rate and two minutes to copy a gig. It's not gonna break any records here in terms of throughput, and it certainly makes me wonder about that five gigabytes per second, but <laughs> we'll assume this is the theoretical maximum for this. Oh, and it's speeding up a little bit. Maybe the cache is kicking in, so that's good. So let's get this on here. Almost done. You can do it. Come on, little card reader. Come on, little card reader. You're almost there. Now, let's go to the desktop. Let's find that 500 megabytes and let's copy it onto the SD card. Let's see how long this takes. So you can compare this write speed to the write speed of the micro SD card that we used earlier. There you go, Mac OS. So this is substantially faster. And that's gonna be something you'll see is that different cards actually have different read-write rates. And if it's important for you to be writing data to your cards as well as reading the data, then you're gonna to wanna to get a faster card and you can look it up. There's different number schemes that indicate throughput rates. But for reading data, this is certainly quite functional, it works great in the field, and there's really nothing to complain about with this particular unit. And it looks like we're just about done with the data copy. So as soon as that's done, we'll switch the camera back around, and I'll tell you just a tiny bit more about this particular IO gear device. 
when it's done copying. <laughs> Which will happen soon. So, super fast, I really like it. And here's the great thing is that, let me unplug it and show it to you again. It's only $19.99, I mean, it is a no-brainer purchase. And this is really a best of breed with card readers because they have ones that have more slots and stuff. But honestly, I don't even have a compact flash, let alone other card formats. So I'm guessing that you're like me, is that between SD and micro SD, you got everything covered. And if you don't, then there's also adapters that probably came with your weird format um, cards. But be that as it may, I really like this. This is the IO Gear three slot card reader. Now the only criticism I have is that there are no status lights at all. So you have no idea when it's online. It doesn't flash when it's reading or anything, but honestly, that's not really an issue. I mean, you're using it on your computer. You can see when it's finished a download or a copy or you've finished writing some data to your card. Anyway, that's it. So you can check it out. It's 1999 IO Gear three, car three slot card reader at iogear.com. This is Dave Taylor, and I will for sure catch you in my next video, particularly if you click the subscribe button. All right, awesome, thanks.